Today you're going to learn more about digital citizenship using the Digital Compass online game. You will use this link on the worksheet to access the game and then you will complete this worksheet as you complete the game. So be sure you follow the instructions from top to bottom um, and fill out any needed parts or questions that I may have for you. So we're going to go over here to common sense. The first thing you're going to have to do is click to start. And it's going to ask you if you want to start a new game. And then you will need to type in a username. Then once you have typed in a username, click start. Welcome to anywhere. These kids may not look like you and me, but trust me, their days are just like ours jam-packed from sunup to sundown with friends, school, family, and other commitments. Oh, and of course, there is some drama too. Explore their worlds by taking a walk in their shoes. In Anywhere, it's up to you to help them make some real-world decisions in their daily lives. Some big, some small. The choices you make will determine their fate, and the outcomes could be good, bad, or downright ugly. The direction you take them is up to you. Test your street cred in this digital world of ours. Where are you headed? Find out with Digital Compass. Once you have logged, uh, watched the introduction, then you'll be able to choose any of the characters. So each letter of anywhere um, is a character that you can choose. Once you have chosen a character, you will see um, the character's name. This is Jay, and then you'll see their dilemma. One of the questions that you're going to be asked is which character did you use? And then you're going to tell me in your own words that character's dilemma. Then once you have read the dilemma, answered that uh, question on the worksheet, then click on Start Story. So as you watch the videos and you work through, answer questions to help this character make decisions, you will um, be completing the task of finishing the challenge. So once you have finished, you will see that in the upper part of your screen is a certificate. You can click on that certificate and it will show your progress, it will show your username, it'll show your game scores and the badges that you've earned. Now, because I'm just demonstrating this, I do not have any of that. Um, part of your worksheet asks you, um, did you make the right choices? You can answer that. What is your final score on the game? What was your game about? And then the very last thing is to get a snipped image of your um, certificate icon that shows your progress, shows your game score, etc. So when you have this on the screen, you will use the snipping tool. Remember, you can search for the snipping tool or if you have it pinned to your taskbar, you can click on that and then choose new, draw a square around your certificate, copy it, go over to your worksheet, right click in the box and paste it. And that will be the final step of um, this worksheet and then you can turn that in once it's completed. And then if you want to go back and play the game again, you are welcome to do that with a different character. So once you have answered all of the questions that are asked and then pasted your SNP, then you are finished. If you have any questions, email me at smithla at whitehallsd.org.